I can make those people dance and maybe they be happy for a while. February made me shiver. February 3, 1959, Buddy Holly died. With every paper I deliver, bad news on the doorstep. Buddy Holly was a paper boy. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widow bride. But his wife was Maria Elena Rodriguez Holly. And something touched me deep inside. We had a spiritual connection with our music back then. But the day the music died. And we were singing by, by the Samaritan back door. Hide in the music and make believe it didn't matter. I know that you're in love with him, cause I saw you dancing in the gym. You both kicked off your shoes, I don't care. Cause I've got my rhythm and blues, I was alone in two leaves rocking, but with a big carnation and a pickup truck, but I knew I was out of luck today. Next verse, they describe the jester. The jester, of course, is Bob Dylan. King is Elvis Presley. King wears a thorny crown. Christ the bitch. First to wear a thorny crown. And it kind of hurts when you get knocked out of that king of rock and roll seat. And that's what happened to Elvis. Everybody took a long look at Bob Dylan and turned away from the king. And the jury went out and couldn't return a verdict. Who was more famous, Elvis or Bob Dylan? Ten years. Living on our own, Moscow's pat on a rolling stone, but that's not the way it used to be. What a jester sang for the king and queen in a coat he borrowed from James Dean. And on Bob Dylan's Weed Wheeler album, he had a little red jacket. And they say that it was the same jacket that James Dean wore in the movie. The I don't know if that's true. I think it's true. He borrowed from James Dean in a voice that came from you and me. Bob Dylan was saying for all of us back then. His work is knocked out of that seat. Elvis gets knocked out. As the king was looking down, the jester stole his thorny crown. The courtroom was adjourned. No verdict was returned. Here comes the Beatles. And while Lennon read a book on Marx, Quartet practice in the parks where I'm revealed. But we sang dirges in the dark. They are music that. Why do we sing dirges in the dark? Well, when the Beatles came along, you know, they tried to take the field. The marching band refused to yield. We all got up to dance, but we never got the chance. Because when we turned around, everybody in the stands was just getting high. Nobody was dancing anymore. Something happened. Something changed. Well, maybe you did. And we couldn't grow up again with the new music. We didn't hear our music played anymore. We had a very spiritual connection to it. Huh? So anything we could do was keep it in our hearts, and that's where it belonged anyway. Jagger come along, groups like that, and songs about sex, drugs, rock and roll, meaningless physical trips, one night stands, how awful. I remember in high school it was all about love. One woman, one night, one moon, a love that lasts beyond all things. What had happened to us? They even made me 
mix it on a candlestick. Either way. No angel born in hell could break that Satan spell. Hell's angels used to guide the rolling stones. Remember what happened? They murdered at somebody in the country. But we couldn't grow up with that music. We were like we were lost. There we were, all in one place. A generation lost in space. No time out to start again. Come on, Vic. Jack the nimble, Jack be quick. Jack flash sat on a candlestick, touched fire. It is the devil's only friend. As I watched them from the stage, my hands were clenched in fists of rage. No angel born in hell could break that sacred spell. And while the flames climbed high to the night, like the sacrificial rite, I shall sing laughing with delight the day my music died. Met a girl who sang the blues, Janis Joplin, Buddy Holly, uh, you know, Buddy Holly. Oh, who else? Janis Joplin. Who was a lot of those crazy? <laughs> Met a girl who sang the blues, Billie Holiday. Met a girl who sang the blues. I asked her for some happy news. She just smiled and turned away. She overdosed. I went down to the sacred store. That would be the Fillmore East, where all the rock and roll music was played before. And the man there, Alan Freed, who coined the phrase rock and roll, was there too. Died penniless. When a girl sang the blues, I asked her for some happy news. She smiled and turned away. I went down to the sacred store where I heard that music played before. But the man there said the music wouldn't play. In the street, the children screamed. Poets cried, lovers dreamed, and not a word was spoken. Church bells all were broken. It was an old rock and roll song called Church Bells May Ring by the Willows. I remember that. That spiritual connection seemed to break in those days for us when we didn't hear our music anymore. And the three men I admired the most, the Father, Son, and Holy Holly. Little play of words there, Father, Son, and Holly. Yeah. Buddy Holly and the Rich, Richie Valens and the Big Bopper were the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost most of us kids. He died in a plane crash in Mason City, Iowa, February 3rd, 1959, when the Beechcraft Bonanza went down in a snowstorm. When somebody disappeared like that, the poets used to say, very romantically, that they caught the last train for the coast. And all the old rock and roll was romantic. Some of us still are. Caught the last train for the coast today. The music dies. Sing it. And we were singing, bye, bye, Mr. American Pie. Go on a cherry to the levee, but the levee was dry. The good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye. And when you lose something, that you're really, really close to, and it's in your heart, it feels like a piece of you goes with it. This will be the day that I die. Yeah, all these songs mean something, don't they? You know,